Good evening and welcome to H.O. Clemens Arena. Tim Stubbs here courtside and ready for some action here this evening as the phone lines, of course, mess up right at tip-off. <laughs> so pardon me as my ears are ringing right now. Lady Lions in their home whites. Alabama A&M coming into action tonight, the Lady Bulldogs. And their road maroon and white jerseys. Lady Lions turn it over, try to get it inside to Molly Campbell. Too strong on the pass on the other end in transition. Shot up, it's not gonna go in the lane. That was Gaston with the shot. UAPB's got it coming the other way here. No score, nearly one minute in. Arian Thompson trying to go down low. Top of the key, Lassane working on Thompson. Kick out, three point shot is up and it's good. Sharice Carr hits the three and the Lady Lions are on the board. Leading, they say a long two on the scoreboard. Now they change it to three. Got a whistle and a foul on the right side of the lane and they're gonna get Marion Thompson with the foul on that one. The Lady Lions just a little over a minute into action here, leading 3-0 at the foul line. It's going to be Taylor Scipio, 5'9", junior guard out of Montgomery, Alabama. First shot is good for Scipio. And she's got a pair, so it's three to two. Just underway here. Lusane across midcourt with it. Ham now left side to Carr. They missed Lusane open, she's double teamed here. Nice pass, Thompson on the right block. Shot is blocked, but a whistle and a foul is gonna be called. And going to the foul line, it's gonna be UAPB's Marion Thompson, six foot senior out of Rockfield, Illinois. So with 18.34 to go here early, early on, Lady Lions leading three to two, and at the foul line, Marion Thompson for two shots, she makes the first. One more coming up for Thompson. And she gets it to go. So 5-2 our score. Lady Lions lead by three. Nice defense and a steal. Good hands by Carr on the trap. And she'll set it up top of the key. Now Ham will run the point. So good defense there after the made free throws. Lady Lions were able to set up their press. Thompson can't handle the pass. It's stolen away and a foul on Thompson. Or Campbell, rather. Molly Campbell with the foul and breaking away on the steal there was Brittany Strickland and Strickland as she was getting ready to take off to the other end for a layup. Molly Campbell reached in and held her up a little bit and they called a foul. So two team fouls on the Lady Lions so far. Turning, spinning and traveling but no call was the Bulldogs Jasmine Sanders. Lady Lions come away with it nevertheless. Up by three with the basketball here. 17.50 to go, just underway. In the lane, off the glass, nice move, can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, Thompson, and she loses it. But nice move there by Ham, couldn't get it to go down, and they come up short, so whistle and a foul. It's gonna be another one on Thompson, I believe, or they call a charge. They're gonna call a block. In the lane, that's a travel. Ebony Johnson turns it over. So Lady Lions leading 5 to 2 with 17.26 to go. Carr will inbound it to Ham. 
along with Campbell and just checking in is Jasmine Vic Victorian had a stellar career night in the last matchup. Bounce pass inside, Campbell off the glass and good. Good pass by Victorian and Molly Campbell gets the basket. Now seven to two, UAPB by five, three minutes in. Cross court pass. Gaston is going to pick up the charge on Campbell as she got position on just outside of the left side of the lane there. So the Lady Lions will get it back, leading 7 to 2 with 16.57 to go here in the opening frame. Also, number three, Alyssa Strickland. Not sure what the holdup is. Court side over by the scorer's table. There's some sort of a holdup, but I think we're ready to roll. Last foul called on number 22 of the Bulldogs. Algenice Johnson. That foul was First on Algenice Johnson. Or Algenice Gaston, rather. Gatson. Right side to Carr. Now back to Ham. Ham nearly traveled, flips up a pass in the air, and getting stripped was Lassane. Now the Lady Lions will get it back and set it up with nine on the shot clock here. Now on the right baseline, shot up in the lane, no good. Just outside of the lane, no good by Victorian, but once again, Molly Campbell there to clean it up, and she lays it up and in. So nine to two, good start here for UAPB. Three-point shot back on the other end, no good by Strickland, and Sanders. Sanders gets the rebound and the stick back. So nearly four minutes in here, nine to four our score. UAPB by five with the basketball. Here's Carr looking down low to Victorian. Now Victorian pops out for the pass. She gets it taken away. Good hand, Sanders takes it from her. In transition, Strickland pull up, 10 footer off the glass is good and one. Alyssa Strickland. Alyssa Strickland. And we have a media timeout. We'll step aside here. 15.48 to play. First half, UAPB 9, Lady Bulldogs of Alabama a &M 6. Right back with more after this timeout. Hi, my name is Danny Andre Brill II, a senior here majoring in industrial technology, management, and applied engineering. I thought that I would be looking for a job at this point, but thanks to my mentor, Dr. Charles Colin at Career Services, I was able to obtain a position as an industrial engineer upon graduation. Danny worked hard in class from the beginning, obtaining three internships while on campus. UAPB can help prepare students like Danny for those same opportunities. UAPB prepared me. Back inside of H.O. Clemens Arena here, Tim Stubbs, glad to be with you here on this Cold, cold Saturday night. Hope everyone enjoyed the snow last night. We got a little bit more than we thought we were gonna get. It snowed for a good five, six hours and uh, it's been pretty out there. Roads hadn't been too bad. After Strickland's and one play, the free throw. Nice pass underneath here from Lassane to Victorian and she's got the bucket. 11 to 7, our score, UAPB by 4. Some pressure defense here by the Lady Lions. They're going to get Ham with a little bump just in front of the UAPB sideline. With 15.24 to go here in the first half. Cassidy Wright in the ball game for the first time. Mm, almost picking up a steal there. Cross court pass and maybe getting away with a walk. She steps right into her shot and knocking it in is Taylor Scipio. She ran right into that shot with no bounce and lucky she didn't get called for a travel there. 11 to nine, two point lead for UAPB with the basketball. Five minutes into the game here. 
Lady Lions jumped out to a 9-2 lead. Since then, the Bulldogs have outscored them by five. Tough shot off the glass and then getting her own rebound and missing an easy one was Victorian. Maybe it surprised her a little bit. She flipped it up off the glass and came right back to her and then she missed a shot she probably should have made. A&M with the ball. Right side, love it. Pull up jumper, Strickland is hit again. She's gonna go to the line for two shots as Molly Campbell picks up the foul. A chance to tie it up here for the Lady Bulldogs, Alyssa Strickland. Stockbridge, Georgia she senior. Her sister, Brittany Strickland, also from Stockbridge. First shot is good. Four points here early on for Strickland. Carlisha Walker checks in for Molly Campbell for the Lady Lions. Tied at 11. This is a 9-2 run for the Lady Bulldogs to match that 9-2 start for UAPB. We're all tied up. Here's Walker. Lassane now right side. Wright passes up the jumper and now she'll step into it and just misses the 17-footer in and out no good. Pushing it ahead. Here's Lovett for the Bulldogs. Inside, stolen away, good hands. Right place, right time, it's Walker. Walker slows it down, hands it off to Lassane. On the baseline, turning, spinning, tough shot up off the glass and good, Jasmine Victorian. And she has really come alive the last couple of games. There's a travel, stepping into her shot and banking it in, but no good, as, or they'll wave it off, rather. That was Jasmine Sanders, and they missed that call a moment ago. And also number five, Brittany Strickland. Lady Lions up by two with the ball. Here's Lesange. Now Carr in the right corner. Needs some help. Cross court pass. The open look for three. Top of the key is good for Christina Lesane. Lesane knocks it in. The Lady Lions lead back up to five. 16 to 11, 13 20 to go, first half. Side Strickland now inside, losing it for a moment there was Foster. Now UAPB will get it back. Right with the basketball, cross court to Carr. Victorian, top of the key, Lassane now back to Ryder. Three point shot is partially blocked. And coming away with it is Strickland. She'll push it ahead all the way, dump it down low, easy basket for Shaverin Richardson. And she's out of Dumas, Arkansas, so she has a big supporting, uh, I guess, fan base here, a little fan club right behind us cheering on. So if you hear some cheers for Alabama A&M, it is for Shaverin Richardson. Down low, a foul, and that one's going to go against Strickland as she hacked Carlisha Walker. 12 20 to go, first half. UAPB leads 16 to 13. The first on Richardson, third team foul on the Bulldogs. Here's Walker, strong drive, right side of the lane, off the glass, no good. Trying to keep it alive, loses it, and here comes A&M with it. They'll push it ahead, left side. Strickland with the take, off the glass, no good. Rebound pulled down by Lassane. Lassane to push it ahead, no pressure. Car, nice pass inside, and Walker scores it in one. Nice recognition by Carr inside there, and right in the middle of the lane, Walker scores it and gets the foul and a chance for a three-point play. We'll have a media timeout here. 11.58 remaining first half, and the Lady Lions on top, 18 to 13. We're right back with more Lady Lion basketball in a moment. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything, 
It is I, Cruz Zinkelpel. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Welcome back inside of H.O. Clemens Arena. 11.58 to play. Lady Lions leading 18 to 13, and at the foul line is going to be Carlicia Walker, a junior from Itabina, Mississippi. She'll have a chance for a three-point play here. She scored the basket right before the media timeout and was fouled, misses the free throw, and chasing it down and then traveling with it was Brittany Strickland. She didn't like the call. Flashing forward in the lane, Walker, strong drive, goes up off the glass, she's fouled again. And they're gonna get Richardson again. So Walker will shoot two this time. And too strong off the back of the iron, no good. She has a, a really nice looking shot, nice arch to it. But last couple have been a little too strong and she'll knock this one in. And it rimmed out. They all looked good, just wouldn't go down. It's like that sometimes. Good pressure defense. Oh, they get Lassane, and it looked like a pretty clean steal, but they get her with the reach in right at midcourt. 11.43 to go, and a lot of fouls early on in this one. We've already got a total of 12 fouls called, and we're just about eight minutes into the ball game here. So. Already a one and one and missing it was Taylor Scipio. UAPB's got the rebound, leading by five. Victorians out of the key to Lassane. Now Wormley's checked in, and she had a nice ball game a couple games ago. Lassane, right side. Cassidy Wright spots up for three. Good look at it. Missed it. Offensive rebound. Stick back is there for Carlisha Walker. Lady Lions lead up to seven. That matches their largest lead of the half. Losing it out of bounds was Alyssa Strickland, so the Lady Lions will get it back, leading by seven. Victorian is going to be fouled as she tried to work her way up the right side of the lane there. Eleven oh five to go here in the first half. UAPB leading by seven, twenty to thirteen. Inbound to Lassane, back to right. Now back to Lassane, looks in the lane. Victorian, little pump fake, turn, spins, shot up, no good. Had a good look at it, didn't go down. Here's Strickland pushing it ahead for the Bulldogs. Left side, little pump fake. Nothing there for Sanders. Now she'll dish it off in the lane. Richardson shot up. Now I'll check that Sanders and the shot's good. Or Foster, rather. Foster with the basket. Makes it 20 to 15. Five point lead for UAPB. They have the basketball. Victorian in the lane. Cross court. 15 footer for Wormley is good. Well, that's her shot. That is automatic cash money right there. She can knock that down. 22 15. Top of the key. Three, no good for Scipio, battle for the rebound. It's picked up by Sanders, she misses it, gets it back, scores it anyway. 
Timeout call by Alabama A&M as it's getting a little helter-skelter there for a moment. Aaron Campbell is set to check in after this timeout. Well, we'll keep it here with 10-12 to go. And the score is 22 to 17, five point lead for the Lady Lions. Set. About 10 minutes to go, first half here. UAPB up five with the basketball. 22 17. Walker out high, top of the key. Now hands it off to Wright to Wormley in the lane. Aaron Campbell takes a little power move. Nice take, scores it inside. Nice touch for Campbell. Freshman from Monticello, Arkansas. Lady Lions lead back to seven. In the lane, scoring it is Jasmine Sanders. The Bulldogs pull back to within five. Nine and a half to go, first half. Wormley. Nice pass down low. Scoring it inside is Walker. She's been active. She's got six points off the bench. Three-point shot, Strickland an air ball, and Lassane had it, it looked like. And Walker, one of them lost it out of bounds there on the baseline, and it's going to go back to the Bulldogs. Flashing for the steal, it's Cassidy Wright. She wants to go all the way. Strickland trying to cut her off, but she won't get there. Scoring it on the steal coast to coast is Cassidy Wright. Lady Lions up by nine, their largest lead. Back on the other end, blocked out of bounds by Campbell. Wormley coming from behind, and the Bulldogs will inbound it, I believe, or did they call a foul? They actually did call a foul on Wormley. So two shots coming up here for Alasha Foster, freshman out of Columbus, Georgia, five foot 10 forward. And off to the left, no good, misses the first. In and out, no good. Missing both there was Foster. Lady Lions up by nine, 28-19, 8.45 to go. Long three left side is no good by right. Here comes Strickland, she loses it, going behind the back, then gets it back. And a travel on Jasmine Sanders. So Sanders to give it back, and another turnover by the Lady Bulldogs. 8.34 to go before halftime. Wormley to Campbell. No working around the perimeter here, Carr. Well, that could have been a foul there. Reach in, no call. Sanders got a lot of arm there on Carr. Cross court pass to Carr. 15 footer, left elbow is good. Knocking it in is Carlisha Walker. Lady Lions rolling right now up by 11. 30 to 19 on a nice groove here with eight minutes to go before halftime. Maybe a travel there, no call. Jumper from 15, not gonna go for Sanders. Battle for the rebound, Walker's got it. She's all over the place. Eight points, rebound, steals. Right now she is playing very well. Wormley gets it to Walker. Walker kicks it out. Nice half court set, wide open three. Not gonna go for Carr, but rebound to Wormley. Lady Lions will set it back up. They're getting some good looks offensively. Here is Campbell, she gets the touch and the roll about 10 feet out right in the middle of the lane. She's got four points. The Lady Lions up by 13. 
executing their half-court set offense right now with precision. Pull up, 15-footer right wing is good for Strickland to stop the bleeding for a moment. And Brittany Strickland. So Lady Lions up 11 with the basketball. Seven minutes to play before halftime. We'll do a media timeout here in just a moment. And we're going to get it right now as that ball is thrown away by Carlisha Walker. It'll be Bulldog basketball. But we'll come back after this media timeout here. 6.59 to play first half. The Lady Lions 32, Alabama A&M 21. Right back in a moment. I wouldn't have been at this ceremony if I hadn't been at this ceremony first. Unfortunately, nearly 30% of U.S. high school students aren't making it to graduation. And every one of us, every parent, every friend, and neighbor, has the responsibility to provide the support and encouragement they need to make it through. Because we all need to see a lot more of these pictures. Side of H.O. Clemens Arena here. Quickly back in action and another turnover by the Lady Bulldogs. This is going to be a travel on Moffitt. With 6.52 to go, first half. And the Lady Lions leading by 11 with the basketball. Bringing it up is going to be Cassidy Wright. No pressure across midcourt. Victorian. She'll take the jumper. 17 footer wide open, knocks it in. They're going to count the basket. And now we got a whistle and a foul underneath. They're going to get Aaron Campbell, but I believe the basket should count. They're talking about it, but the, the shot had already left her hand before the foul, and they do count the bucket. So that's the right call. 34 21. Lady Lions up by 13, their largest lead of the half here. And it's been nine turnovers, now 10 after that last time out by Alabama and m UAPB with just four. That's been a huge part here in the Lady Lions sizzling from the field. Now 15 of 27, shooting at almost a 60% clip. So free throw is good here on the one and one. Algadis Gaston. One more coming up for Gatson, and she gets it to go. So she knocks in both. Cuts the lead to 11 for UAPB. Six and a half to go. Before halftime, 34-23, Lady Lions. In the lane, throwing it away. Victorian, a little miscommunication with Campbell there. Pull up, Brittany Strickland off the glass, no good from 15. Rebound, Victorian's got it. They'll push it ahead now, right to slow it up at midcourt as she brings it across. Victorian looking down low, nothing there. Right side to Carr. Out of Wormley. Nice pass inside. Missing it is Victorian. She gets it back, misses it again. About three chances. Missed three chances. The second one was the easiest of the two. So Alabama A&M comes back the other way. Putting it on the floor, driving in the lane. Whistle and a foul call. Two shots coming up here for Taylor Scipio. 5.48 to play before halftime. And Lady Bulldogs trying to get back into it here from the foul line. That's the second on Wormley. And the 10th team foul be automatic two shots. And even though she was shooting anyway. First shot is good. Nothing but net. Cuts the lead to 10 for UAPB. Second shot is good. 
So Lady Bulldogs doing work from the foul line and trying to keep it close. They trail UAPB by nine. Lady Lions with the ball here. Campbell. To Carr, Molly Campbell back in the game. Molly Campbell will shoot it, 15 footer, no good. Just outside of the foul line there and rebound Bulldogs. So push it ahead left side. Harper, she's got it wide open, 15 footer, no good. And the offensive rebound is pulled down by Scipio. They'll set it up now, 25 on the shot clock. Strickland pull up 15 footer, no good. And again, that's the third time she's been fouled on a jump shot here in the first half. She'll go to, to the foul line here for two shots. And Jasmine Victoria, and that is her first, but the team fouls are mounting up. Strickland's first shot is good. One more coming up for Strickland. And she got them both. And she'll check out for her sister, Brittany out, and Alyssa Strickland in. 5.06 to play, first half, and Lady Lions, their biggest lead was 13. It's now at seven. And we're gonna have a foul here on the right side of the floor, way away from the basketball. And it's gonna be a one and one coming up here for Jasmine Victoria and with 5.01 to play here in the first. No good on the free throw, one and one. Missed it, so Bulldogs get it back after the miss by Victorian. Driving baseline and throwing it away was Scipio. She was trying to kick it out to Gadsden, but pass was off the mark. So 34-27, UAPB by seven with the ball here. Approaching 445. Campbell to right, now Carr. Cross court pass to Lassane. She'll take the three and miss. Rebound Strickland, she wants to push it ahead. Pull up, 10 footer off the glass, no good. Carr the rebound and then tying it up on the floor was Strickland, but the alternating possession is gonna to go to UAPB. Four twenty-seven, Lady Lions by seven, 15 on the shot clock here. Carr, a little miscommunication with Victorian. She cut right, the pass went left. Step back three is good. Nothing but net right in front of the UAPB bench there. Alganis Gatson. Knocks in the three, and all of a sudden, that 13-point lead has been trimmed down to just four here. Kick out. Wright trying to match her with another three. No good. Rebound. Chasing it down and saved, but right to the Lady Lions. So UAPB will get it back up by four. 34 to 30. Three and a half to go before halftime. Wright, little hesitation. Nice pass. Victorian off the glass. In and out. No good. Campbell kept it alive for a moment, but the Bulldogs come away with it, and Victorians miss two or three shots she normally makes in the lane. And another travel. This one's gonna be on Scipio. We'll have a media timeout here. We'll step aside. 3-11 to go, first half. UAPB 34, Alabama a &M 30, right back in a moment. Oh, those boys are much too much. Those boys are much too much. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We're gonna beat them and bust them. 
The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. 3-11 to play here in the first half. Tim Stubbs, courtside, H.O. Clemens Arena, University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. 34-30, UAPB leading Alabama a &M by four with the basketball with 3-11 to go here in the first. Turning it over, here come the Bulldogs. Back on the other end, it's Strickland, pull up 15 footer right outside of the foul line, no good. Chasing down the rebound is Carr. She'll give it to Lusane and she'll push it ahead. Approaching midcourt, Strickland picks her up there. Right side of the floor. And on the floor, nearly traveling, kind of stumbled there, and now a foul is going to be on Strickland on the reach in. Lusane nearly turned it over. 2.29 to play here in the first, and the Lady Lions leading by four back to the foul lines, Jasmine Victorian. Six-foot junior from Houston, Texas. The one and one again, she missed another. Lady Lions have suffered from the foul line here tonight. The Lady Bulldogs have not, and that's what's kept them close. Still a four-point lead for UAPB. Could be more if they would have made their free throws. Just over two minutes to go here in the first. And Strickland driving in the lane. The kick out. Wide open jumper. No good by Sanders. Battle for the rebound is won by Gadsden. And the Bulldogs will set it up here. Wide open, top of the key, just inside the three-point line. That was Gatson, and she missed it. Can't get a better look than that. Timeout called. Nate Kilbert will call a timeout, talk things over with 144 remaining here in the first. UAPB leading 34 to 30. They'll have the basketball, it's just a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. We'll have men's action coming up for you shortly after this one. Alabama A&M and UAPB. One forty to go before halftime. Lady Lions put the ball here, up by four. It's been a while since they scored. Gonna get an offensive foul here on Victorian. Lady Lions had a 34 to 21 lead and a 9-0 run here by the Bulldogs have cut it to four and threatening for more. In the lane, nice take off the glass and good. 11-0 run now. 34-32 and that 13-point lead is all but evaporated here. Driving basket there by Scipio. Here's Lassane, pull up 12-footer, air ball. Right side, kept alive by Victorian. Cassidy right, pull up, 12-footer, no good. A little air ball, but right there was Carlisha Walker to clean it up and lays it up and in. Snaps an 11 nothing run for the Bulldogs. 36-32, UAPB by four. Missed a travel right there. Shot up no good by Strickland and Sanders misses her second chance opportunity. So the Lady Lions can hold for the, nearly the final shot here, about a five second differential. 
Game clock at about 25 and the shot clock at 20. Here's Walker, puts it on the floor, the kick out, throws it away. Right over the head of Carr, so the Bulldogs can hold for the final shot here. They trail UAPB by four with 16 seconds left here in the first half. In seconds, Strickland in the lane. Nice take off the glass and gets it to go. A strong move there by Brittany Strickland. Two seconds. Long heave is not going to go, and we're at the half. A game of runs in the first half. Both teams had their chances. UAPB will take a two-point lead into the locker room at halftime, leading Alabama a by a score of 36-34. to 34. All right, you ready for some baseball trivia? Let's do it. What year produced the most no-hit games in the big leagues? Seven no-hitters in 1990. Wow, that's right. Now a question that's not trivial. How many children will witness bullying this year? Huh. Uh, the answer, three out of four. 75%? That's wow. right. How many of them will say something? Kids want to help, but don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. All right, we are set for the second half here. Tim Stubbs courtside, H.O. Clemens Arena, UAPB in Alabama, A&M women's action. And we are set for the second half. 36-34, UAPB by two, led pretty much throughout the entire first half, led by as many as 13. Alabama A&M closed it with a 11-0 run late to cut it to two, and they turned it over on their first possession. They had a lot of turnovers in the first half. Lady Lions first possession here. Campbell looking for a little high low dump down. 30 seconds in here. Lady Lions have led pretty much throughout but trying to hang on right now to this two point lead. Step back jumper, highly contested, gets the roll off the glass. That's Lassane with the jumper and the lead back to four. They've kept it just enough to keep that lead going. Strickland with the ball out high. Campbell, some pressure. Getting away with a walk there a couple of times with Sanders and then she gets the basket inside. You can hear Danny Evans from all the way over here looking for a travel and I agree with him. They missed, they've missed a few of them. They've called a lot of them too though. 38-36, two-point lead for UAPB with the ball here. Ham, left side, kick out. Now Carr gets it taken away, stolen by Scipio. Or check, that was Gatson rather, and Gatson dumps it off to Strickland, and Brittany Strickland lays it off the glass in transition for the basket, and we are tied at 38, minute and a half into the second half here. Here's Strickland. Strick, or check that rather, I'm sorry, that was Carr. Carr misses it. Now Strickland's got it. In the lane, Johnson, kick out. Wide open look, Sanders, my goodness. Getting away with some travels and then gets it right back to Ebony Johnson who hits the jumper and just like that, Alabama A&M leads by two. 40 to 38, UAPB had a 34-21 lead and since then a 19 to four run by Alabama A&M and they've taken a two point lead. Two and a half minutes into the second half. Here's Carr, nice take off the glass. Missed the layup however and lost out by Thompson of UAPB. It's gonna go back to the Bulldogs. So Lady Lions were in control early and now searching a little bit. Pressure by the Lady Lions here. Here's Strickland. They're working around the perimeter, top of the key. Now, right side. 
Wide open three is in and out, no good by Alyssa Strickland, but there to clean it up inside on the rebound, stick back Jasmine Sanders, and a four-point lead now for the Bulldogs. A&M 42-38 over UAPB. Three minutes into the second half, Thompson, the backdoor cut, layup is there, good pass. And Cassidy Wright gets the layup, but a good feed by Marion Thompson. Here comes Alyssa Strickland on the other end, a charge or block, we're gonna call a charge. Strickland charging into Marion Thompson. And stops the clock at 16.50. They got to make sure that they got it on the right sister here. Sixteen forty and counting. Ham to Campbell. Campbell kick out. Step back three for right is short. Trying to chase it down and saving it for a second there was Lassane, and then we got a whistle and a foul in transition on UAPB. Forty-two forty. Two-point lead for the Bulldogs. They have it. Top of the key here, they're working around the perimeter. Harper now, Strickland inside, shot up by Johnson, no good. And Marion Thompson, the rebound, and then she's fouled. Second team foul here in the second half, and that's the third foul on Ebony Johnson. Stops the clock at 16-16. Lady Lions down two with the basketball here. After leading the entire first half, Jumped out three to nothing early and led by as many as 13, but the Bulldogs have battled back to take a two-point lead. Lassane, nice take on the left side, missed it. Marion Thompson's there to clean it up, get the basket and draw the foul. That's gonna send us to immediate timeout here in just a moment. The clock is still running for some reason, but it'll be just under 16 minutes left. We'll step aside, tied at 42. UAPB in Alabama, A&M. Right back in a moment. Really? Buzz, what's up, man? You left some leaves burning out here. Yeah, I, I just I, there was a. I had just came in just for a second. Come on, man. If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. You could torch the whole neighborhood. It's a good point. There's smoke. Key. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. 15.45 remaining as we're set to resume play here. 42 all our score. Marion Thompson to the line here as we resume play. She was fouled right before the timeout and has a chance for a three-point play here. Thompson with four points in the ball game so far. Looking for her fifth here in the lead. And she got it. So the Lady Lions here on a little five nothing run to regain the lead, 43-42. And that's a aggressive play, but a foul called on Christina Lassane. Nearly traveling with Sanders. Left side, they're working around. Strickland step back three is too strong, no good. Knocked out of bounds by Sanders. UAPB will get it back, leading by one, 15, 30 to play. Campbell, another back door cut. Shot up, no good, and Lassane's going to go to the line for two, but a good pass there by Campbell. Lady Lions love those little backdoor cuts there right at the free throw line is the passer, and they look for a cutter every time, and that's 
high percentage half court basketball. The Lady Lions have excelled at it tonight. First shot is good. Try to get back on line here on the air phone line problems on the court side while they have a little moment. Lady Lions lead. By two, another free throw coming up here for Lassane. Fifteen, seventeen remaining. Forty-four, forty-two. Lassane to the line here. And one more shot coming up. Made the first. Second shot is good. Lassane with seven points in the ball game now. In the lead up to three. Seven-zero run here for UAPB to regain the lead. Melissa Strickland now top of the key. They'll set it up with Harper. Harper in the lane to Sanders. Shot up from 15, no good. Rebound Thompson. 45-42, UAPB by three with the basketball. Campbell, she'll get it to go. Nice aggressive move by Campbell. The right side of the lane there. Campbell now with six points in the ball game. And a lead up to five for UAPB. Lady Lions on a 9-0 run here. Strickland out to Sanders. Now they'll set it up to Harper. Right side to Scipio and eventually it gets back to Sanders inside. She's going to draw the foul. Two free throws coming up. 14-14 to play. First shot coming up here for Jasmine Sanders, 5'10", senior out of Chester, South Carolina. And misses the first. Jasmine Victorian back in the ball game as Marion Thompson will take a seat. And she missed both of them, a long rebound, chased down by Ham. Right side to right. Back to Ham, top of the key, left side. I'll work it to Lassane. Now here's Victorian. Passes to Ham. She'll take the 17 footer right wing. No good in and out. And rebound pulled down by Shabrin Richardson. The sophomore out of Dumas, Arkansas, with the big fan club here tonight. Richardson kicks it out. Harper will take the three left wing off the mark. No good. Rebound Campbell for UAPB. Lady Lions up five of the basketball. Nice take by Lassane. She'll draw the foul. Have two free throws coming up here. With 13-33 remaining. Lassane with seven points in the game so far. Just made a pair of free throws. Back to the line here for two more. First shot is good, gets the roll. Front of the iron, the backboard, and then through the bucket. One more coming up for Lassane. And nothing but net. She's got nine in the game, and UAPB's lead is up to seven. 
An 11-0 run here by the Lady Lions to take this 49-42 lead. Brittany Strickland and whistle and a, they call a no foul as Alyssa Strickland gets knocked to the floor and going to give the ball back to the Lady Bulldogs. 21 on the shot clock here. Alicia Walker checks in the ball game for Molly Campbell. Bulldogs went about it, trailing by seven. Just over 13 minutes remaining in the game. Here's Scipio, step back, 15-footer, no good. Rebound hit the foot of Cassidy Wright. Now there's a tie-up situation on the floor, alternating possessions, going to give it to Pine Bluff. So the Lady Lions will retain possession up seven. Tough pass, Victoria not able to handle it. Caught by the official and just kind of landed right in his lap. Thirteen oh three to go. UAPB by seven. Alabama and in with the ball here. Shot clock at 15. Brittany Strickland works it right side of the floor, holds her dribble out high. Now off the bounce, pull up. 13 footer, no good inside the foul line by Sanders, but there to clean it up and get the rebound and basket. With Shabran Richardson. That snaps a 11 0 run by UAPB. Here's Walker, gets it taken from behind, but a reach-in foul is going to be called on Brittany Strickland. They get the foul on Jasmine Sanders instead. And that's the first on Sanders. Team foul number six on the Bulldogs. Lady Lions with three team fouls. Here's Carr in the lane. Tough pass stolen away. The sisters on the breakout here. Strickland to Strickland off the glass. No good. A whistle and a foul called. Alyssa Strickland to Brittany Strickland. And Brittany is fouled. And she's going to shoot two shots here. Foul on Lassane. And first shot is good for Strickland. Twelve oh five to go. We'll have a media timeout coming up right after that 12 minute mark on the next dead ball. Shot is good. 49-45, 46 now, 49-46. 12 minutes to go in the game. Still anybody's game here. Nice pass, Walker stepped up just inside the foul line, dumped it down to Victorian off the glass and good, and nice feed there. 51-46, that's eight points now for Victorian in the game. Tough pass in the lane, ball loose on the floor. This is going to be a tie-up. It's going to stay with the Bulldogs, and that's going to lead us to a media timeout here. With 11.37 to play in the game, UAPB 51, the Lady Bulldogs of A&M 46, right back in a moment. There's a crisis in the Horn of Africa. Actually, there are three crises. The worst drought in 60 years, the worst famine in 20, and nonstop violence. But there's hope, because saving lives doesn't take a lot. It just takes a lot of us. Text a donation of $10 and do more than donate. Forward the facts to everyone you know. Forward from the site, on Facebook, and on Twitter. We are the relief.
37 to go. Got a good ball game going on here. UAPB and Alabama AM, 51 46. Five point lead for the Lady Lions. Just about set to resume play here. In the lane, shot up, had a good look at it, missing it. it was Foster, UAPB will get it back, leading by five. And whistle in the lane here. We'll see what the foul's gonna be. One and one, it's gonna be on A&M. It's gonna be on Alicia Foster. Just her first, team foul number seven. A one and one for Carlicia Walker. First shot, no good. Off to the right, missed it. Strickland will push it ahead, left side of the floor. Fast and furious. Now to Scipio in the lane, she loses it for a second, gets it back. They'll keep it alive. Baseline, Aaron Campbell with a playoff foul. <laughs> and the smaller Strickland took the blow there, but it was all clean going for the ball. Aaron Campbell with the, the foul. That's her second. Team foul number four. In and out, no good by Alyssa Strickland. Checking back in the ball game's Destiny Ham. For Lassane, 51-46, UAPB by five, 11 6 to play. And second shot is good. 51-47. Looking for the cut. Not there. Ham to Carr, left side, right. Needs some help, nearly loses it, but they'll set it back up with 12 on the shot clock. Wide open look for three, right is short. And the long rebound comes out to Strickland. She'll split a double team in the lane. And just throwing up a wild shot and traveling with it is her sister, Brittany Strickland, giving it right back to UAPB with 10.35 to play. 51-47. Lady Lions up four with the ball here. Carr, need some help, right side, give it back up. Now, Carr will get it back, passes up the shot. Erin Campbell uses her body and leans in with the right hand, gets it to go, nicely done. Campbell now with six points in the ball game, lead up to six. 53-47. And on the floor, Walker got it, called a timeout, it looks like with 9.37 to go, and we'll keep it here for a moment. 53-47, UAPB by six. And with 9.37 to go, the Lady Lions up six with the ball as Walker had to call a timeout there. Walker leading the way, 10 points for UAPB. I believe, let's take a look at the numbers here for a moment. Yep, 10, got six apiece for, Cam both Campbells have six. Marion Thompson's got six, eight points for Christina Lassane, eight points for Jasmine Victorian. The Lady Lions still shooting pretty well from the field, 21 of 48, 44% clip.
Bentley the lines have turned it over nine times, forcing 12 Bulldog turnovers. Lady Lions have out-rebounded the Bulldogs by one, 29-28. Neither team shooting well from the three-point line, one of seven for A&M, two of nine for UAPB. Inside, Carlicia Walker leading the way with 12 points. And a steal here by Cassidy Wright. And got a little too far underneath the basket, hit the side of the backboard and missed it. A&M comes back with it on the other end. And trying to Get the shot inside and a foul is called. That's going to be on Campbell. Jasmine Sanders. Free throw is good, 55-49, six point lead for you APB. Nine minutes to play in the ball game. Wormley to Ham, back to Wormley now, down low to Walker. Walker squeezes a tough little pass in there, but it was deflected, stolen away, and intended for Campbell. In transition, Strickland off the glass, gets it to go. Brittany Strickland with the basket. She's got 12 points. Tied for the team lead with Jasmine Sanders. 55-51, wide open three, Cassidy Wright is good. Right wing three for Wright. 58-51, seven point lead. A little over eight minutes remaining in the game. There's a three point shot back on the other end by Scipio, no good. Wormley has the rebound, she is swarmed and then finally hands it off to Ham. Kicks it ahead. Right pull-up jumper, no good. Keeping it alive was Walker, and then lost out of bounds off of Strickland with 8.04 remaining. UAPB up seven, we'll get it back here, Not sure what the hold up here is, but UAPB set to inbound it. Head coach for Alabama a is arguing something. Here's the inbound, Campbell, nice look, gets the basket. Good pass by Wright, and Campbell scores again. Aaron Campbell's got eight. Quickly back is Strickland, and she wanted a foul, no call, but they'll set it back up top of the key. 7.45 remaining, UAPB leading by nine, 60 to 51. Whistle and a foul on Campbell, and that's gonna be her fourth. We'll have a media timeout coming up here with 7.38 remaining in the ball game. Lady Lions lead it 60 to 51 over Alabama A&M right back in a moment.
Welcome home, man. Seven thirty-eight remaining, starting to get late here in this one. UAPB's opened up a nine-point lead, while Alabama A&M will be at the foul line in the way of Jasmine Sanders. Sanders has twelve points in the ball game, tied with Brittany Strickland for a team high. The one and one here. First shot's good. Sixty to fifty-three, seven-point ball game. Kick out, Ham. Almost a perfect play, and just getting a hand on it there was Richardson for A&M to get the steal. It's a good idea. That's a travel, big time, on Sanders. She was doing the curly shuffle there in the lane. <laughs> seven sixteen to go. Lady Lions by seven with the ball in control. And a foul, I believe, or are gonna step on the sideline rather. They're gonna say right stepped on the sideline. Turns it over. Some pressure by UAPB. Trying to trap in the corner, Scipio is in trouble and a timeout called by A&M with 7.03 remaining. Timeout called on the floor, we'll keep it here. The Lady Lions with Seven minutes to go, leading by seven. The a and basketball at 22 on the shot clock, 7.03 on the game clock when we resume play here in just a second. Seven oh three to go. Bulldogs with the basketball. Inside, strong drive, but no go for Richardson, but kept alive in the baskets there for Sanders. Sanders now with 16 in the game to lead all scores. Cuts the lead to five. 6.40 to play. Top of the key, Ham now to Walker. Nice little cut to the basket. The assist by Walker, the basket by Wright. Nicely executed. In the lane, we're gonna have a block, and if it's on Campbell, uh, they're gonna call a block instead, and she just fouled out. Has the hardest call to make, the block charge call, and Nate Kilbert. Let the official hear about it. He cheers on Campbell, who just fouled out of the ball game, but she had eight points and she was a warrior tonight. Had a real good ball game. And free throw in and out, no good, and battle for the rebound. And let's see, they're going to get. They're gonna get the foul on Brittany Strickland on the reach in, and that's her second. And back on the other end, more free throws coming up. We're gonna have a lot of free throws down the stretch here. 
Both teams with 18 fouls. We're still in a one-on-one -on -one situation. With 6.19 remaining at the foul line, it's going to be Carlicia Walker. And missed it. Boy. Sixty-two fifty-five, seven-point lead for UAPB. A and M with the basketball here. Sanders to Strickland. Alyssa Strickland hits the fifteen-foot jumper, left wing. Back to a five-point game. Six to play. Here's Walker to Lassane. They'll set it up with Ham. Fifteen on the shot clock. Pass tip, but right to Ham. Her jumper no good. And taken by Scipio. The Bulldogs can get a little closer here. With five and a half to play. Down five. Kick out, Scipio. In the lane, shot up off the glass. No good, battle for the rebound and tipped out. Going to be won by Strickland. She'll set it up to her sister, Brittany Strickland. With five minutes remaining. Here's Richardson in the lane. She travels. With five minutes to go, the Lady Lions will get it back, leading by five. Midcourt with it. The same. A little pressure here by the Bulldogs. Kick out. Cassidy Wright spots up for three. Short, no good. Long rebound. The Sane's got it for Pine Bluff. Look out from behind. She didn't see Sanders, but she's able to retain possession. Working up right side of the floor, just outside of the three-point line is Lassane. Holds her dribble. Now in the corner, it's right. Right. Nice take. Pull up. 15-footer is good. 64-57, lead back to 7, 4, 20 to play. Here's Strickland, step back, 15-footer, rims out, no good. lassane has got the rebound for Pine Bluff. Seven-point lead, bringing it up to midcourt. Here's Ham now to Lassane. Four minutes to play. Lassane holds it out high, left side. Whistle, and even though a media timeout was looming, Coach Nate Kilber didn't want to waste this possession and calls a timeout now. We'll keep it right here. With 3.53 remaining in the ball game, UAPB leading by 7, 64-57. And a media timeout will come up on the next dead ball. So we'll keep it right here for right now. Men's action to come up shortly after this one. Golden Lions knocked off A&M at their place earlier in the season, trying to get the home and home sweep with a win tonight. Three remaining. Lady Lions will inbound it, leading by seven. Here's Carr now to Ham. Ham will look for a screen by Molly Campbell and now back off. 
Right side of the floor is Carr. Campbell posted up. Tough shot up in the lane, no good. But Campbell is there to clean it up. Everyone contributing here tonight. Molly Campbell with eight. And the lead up to nine, that's a big possession and makes that timeout worthwhile. Three-point shot, Strickland, top of the key, no good. Campbell secures the rebound for Pine Bluff. Just over three to play. Needing some help, Ham with screen there by Campbell. 15 on the shot clock. Molly Campbell, nice pass to Lassane. A whistle and a charge is going to be on Lassane. Sanders set up for it. That's going to lead us to our media timeout here. So with 3.05 remaining in the game, UAPB leading by 9, 66 57, 3.05 to go right back in a moment. Closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. Well, thought we had a media timeout, but I guess not. We were due a media timeout, but they, they came back rather quickly on us here for some reason. Back on the other end, Alabama AM gets the bucket. And now we have another timeout called by Alabama AM after the basket with 256 remaining. And we'll keep it here for this one, but it's a seven point lead for UAPB, 66 to 59. <laughs> Two fifty-six to go. Pine Bluff will impound it here, leading by seven. Sixty-six fifty-nine. Carr trying to get it to Ham. Good defense here by AM and off the hands of Thompson, I believe. Gonna say last touch by Strickland. Having a hard time getting the inbound here. Fifty to go. <laughs> Waiting lines by seven now. Wright will inbound it. Gets it to Ham. Pressure defense here by the Bulldogs. Nice look ahead here to Thompson from Campbell. Now Wright will come out high and take over the point. Thirteen on the shot clock. Thompson the cut deflected. Ball on the floor stolen away by Strickland. Here come the Bulldogs with it. Strickland in transition. And it's Brittany Strickland missing the little up and under layup. Chased down out high by Moffitt. Back to Brittany Strickland for three and it's good. Hustle play pays off. Cuts it to a four point game. It's just over two to play. Here's Lassane. Big possession here. Long three, right wing is short. Maybe not the shot he wanted there. And here come the Bulldogs back on the other end, trying to cut into this four point deficit, and they will. Nice little running layup in the lane. Timeout called. That was Brittany Strickland again. She's got 17 to lead all scores. And all of a sudden, it's a two point game with a 147 to go and a timeout on the floor here. 
66-64, Lady Lions had built up a nine point lead. The Bulldogs will not go away. And the not, not the shot that Coach Kilford wanted a moment ago, the long three. Can get that shot anytime, especially leading by four. And missed it. And in transition on the other end, AM makes them pay for it. Cuts it to a two point game all of a sudden. Right set to inbounded here. His possession's getting critical for the Lady Lions, only up by two now. And hurting her knee was Strickland as she attempted the steal. I think Strickland thought that it was gonna be her ball. Instead, they caught a foul, I think, on Strickland. It's gonna be a third on Brittany Strickland. One and one, I believe. Team foul number nine. Both teams with nine team fouls, and they'll be in the double bonus each after the next foul. It's a big free throw opportunity here for Marion Thompson. And she gets the first. Eight up to three, that's a big shot. 147 to go in the game. Second shot is good also, so the Lady Lions lead up to four here. Those are big free throws by Thompson. 68-64, here's the kick out. Pull up jumper from 15 is good by Alyssa Strickland. Stops the clock at 131 and a timeout called by A&M. Back to a two point game, 68-66. We'll keep it here for this short timeout. One twenty-five to go, UAPB with the basketball here. Leading by two, big possession. Thompson looking for the cut, nothing there. Now she'll have a little drive and spin, layup, no good. Rebound out by a and m That was Love it with the rebound, they'll push it ahead. Can Tyre take the lead on this possession? In the lane, and a charge has been called on Brittany Strickland, and that's gonna be her fourth foul as Molly Campbell set up for the charge. That's a big call in this game with a 104 to go. And it's a 10 team foul, but a player control foul. But the next one will be double bonus, two free throws for UAPB. Thompson needs some help. Tough pass was nearly taken away and went right off the face of, or off the chest of Lassane. And a whistle and a foul called on Moffitt. And free throws coming up, two shots here. A 
First shot is good. Lassane's been knocking in her free throws. Lead up to three. 56 seconds to go, 69-66. 10 points in the game now for Christina Lassane. And second shot is good. Inbounded here. Lighting lines up four. And a double dribble called on Alabama A&M and they'll turn it back over. Mm -mm -mm. That's a costly turnover there on Scipio. Lady Lions will inbound it, leading by four with 51 seconds to go, and that is a huge turnover in this game. And they'll foul right at the Halfway point midcourt. Two more free throws coming up here for Cassidy Wright. One more coming up, first one was good. And she knocks in both. That lead went from two to six with four free throws. Flashing for the steal. And out of bounds, good hands by Thompson, but out of bounds off of her. With 44 seconds remaining. And the Lady Lions leading by six, A&M with the ball. Lions going to go back to the foul line with 41 seconds remaining. Leading 72-66 as Wright's fouled. She just made two free throws. Lady Lions have been earning it from the foul line here in the second half. And another is good. One more coming up for Cassidy Wright. Sophomore to Flint, Michigan. In and out, no good. Campbell keeps it alive for a moment, and then Destiny Ham tried to save it, but couldn't do so out of bounds. So they'll give it back to the Bulldogs, but UAPB leads by seven. 73-66 with 40 seconds to go. And a foul's on the Lady Lions here. Thirty-three seconds remaining. Thompson just fouled out for UAPB with seven points. With thirty-three seconds to go. Two shots coming up here for Jasmine Sanders. Sanders with 16 points in the ball game. That's good for second in scoring on her team tonight. 17 for Brittany Strickland to lead the way. And now she's got 17 to Sanders. Hit that one. Makes it a six-point game. One more free throw coming up. Alyssa Strickland. There's been a ton of fouls in this ball game. First half and second half. And it's going to be Molly Campbell shooting two with 33 seconds left. UAPB leading by five, 73-68. High arcing shot. Gets the roll. 
Nine points now for Molly Campbell. <laughs> one more shot coming up here for Molly. Too strong on that one. Makes one of two. Leads at six, 30 seconds to go. Kick out. Melissa Strickland no good on the three. Rebound and fouled on the way to the basket. Sanders, she's going to shoot two and stop the clock at 23 seconds. And I know that they didn't want to stop the clock, but that's what happened. Been a, a lengthy game with all the fouls. First shot is good. 18 in the game now for Sanders to lead the way for A&M. In and out, no good. On the second, five point game with 22 seconds left and a quick foul and UAPB will have to shoot free throws. Fouls on Moffitt. And going to the line for UAPB is going to be Christina Lassane. Lassane has 11 in the ball game. Leading score for UAPB is Cassidy Wright with 14. First shot for Lassane. No good off the front of the rim. One more coming up. Trying to push it back to a six point ball game. Second free throw is good. Six point game, 20 seconds to go. Here's Strickland in transition. They're gonna go trying for the easy two. They're gonna get an and one. Another foul, UAPB keeps fouling and get a chance for a three point play and stop the clock here. And that's gonna keep A&M in the ball game. 17 seconds to play and Brittany Strickland to the line here trying to complete a three-point play. And she gets the roll. 75-72, a three-point game, and it's, they're going to foul again immediately here if they can't get the steal. And this final minute has lasted forever. And now we're going to have a timeout to boot here. Or will we? Let's see. Nope, foul away from the ball, so no time went off the clock. Foul on Lovett. Jasmine Victorian for two shots here. Need to make at least one of these. First shot in and out, no good. That ball was halfway in and came out. Mm. Now you got a little pressure here on this next one. And she gets it to go. That's a big shot. Timeout called, 17 seconds left. 76-72, UAPB by four. We'll keep it here as the final stages of the game. Makes it a two possession ball game with that free throw.
Lions almost uh, turn over, or did they? Trying to inbound it, and the Bulldogs a costly, costly turnover there with 16 seconds left. My goodness. They've had a couple, had a double dribble, and then that last one there, here in the final minute. And they've had a chance to cut into the lead, and UAPB will get it back. They're going to foul immediately, and we'll have two more free throws coming up, and this final minute has taken a long time to play. With 15 seconds left, they foul Cassidy Wright immediately, and she'll shoot two. Try to push this back to a six-point ball game now. First shot, no good. Second one is good. So five point game, 15 seconds to go. No reason to foul here. They'll kick it out. Three point shot in the corner, air ball, and now they'll foul the same real quick. 7.6 seconds remaining, and that should be all she wrote right there. Lady Lions up five, and two free throws coming up with seven seconds to go. It's almost virtually impossible to come from behind with this situation for AM. First shot for Christina. Is good. Hussain now with 13 points in the game. She'll have one more. Second shot is good. 79-72. And they'll have one final shot here and a travel, and that's the ball game. Game over. Final score, UAPB wins it 79-72 over Alabama A&M. Special thanks tonight to our crew, Randy Kelly, Shelly Roby Ingram, William Lawson, John Austin, Brandon Miner, and back in the studio, Finley Hill. I'm Tim Stubbs, glad to be with you, and we'll step aside for a little bit. Have men's action coming up for you shortly. Say so long, 79-72, the Lady Lions win it over Alabama A&M by seven.